Hey guys, Keon here from the Rocket Hideout, and today I'm bringing you another short theory. I'm going to be talking about Shadow Pokemon trainers, what they are, and also their transformations they can go through. So without further ado, let's just jump right into this video. So the question that you're asking is, what is a Shadow Pokemon trainer? So pretty much it's basically a Pokemon trainer, right? With the Shadow Aura of a Shadow Pokemon that can undergo a transformation. You know how Goku turned Super Saiyan 1? Well, boom, now every Shadow Pokemon trainer can do that. The only examples I have of this is actually three trainers, uh, two from Pokemon Coliseum and one from XDL Darkness, actually. So let's jump into these trainers and then I'll explain my theory. So first up on the list you have Escade, aka Evis from Pokemon Coliseum. He was the mayor of Phoenix City. His appearance is supposed to be fat, jolly, uh, carefree, kind of retarded. That that all changes when you meet him up in Relgem Tower. He straight up goes dark Super Saiyan, and all the hair and facial hair on his head literally becomes spiky, and his eyes turn red with the white part of his eyes turning black. This guy literally just went Super Saiyan just to fuck you up in a Pokemon battle. I think it's one of the most insane Shadow Pokemon trainers you ever fight, like ever. The second person we meet is actually his son, Nascor. And let me tell you, there's nothing normal about this trainer. First, he already looks like he powers up or beefed up somehow. Almost like when Goku was learning how to go Super Saiyan 1 and just doesn't turn it off. Yeah, that's Nascor. Dude looks like he's ready to fight Broly, no cap. His eyes are similar to Evis and he just has hella muscles and it's and like a weird attire. Death not someone you want to fuck with. Definitely one of the strangest Shadow Pokemon trainers that you fight in the game. And the last character on the list is actually the big boss himself, Grievel, also known as Mr. Verich. Grievel at endgame goes full shadow, my man. He does a backflip, eyes open up, and it looks like he's going sage mode. This little old man is pretty insane. The fact that he's the leader should say a lot. I think due to the fact that he's the leader, he probably turned himself into a shadow Pokemon trainer in order to control Lugia by force. That, and if Lugia was to break out by force, it would just die 100%. Now here's my theory, right? I believe that Cypher is trying to turn more Pokemon into Shadow. That's their main goal, obviously. In order to do that, you need strong, capable trainers that can control these strong Pokemon by force. So, I believe that they have a program, Bilovrina, that turns a trainer into a Shadow Pokemon trainer, and they have the ability to not only display superhuman powers, right, but also change their physical appearance like a Super Saiyan from Dragon Ball Z. The Shadow Pokemon trainers can take multiple hits from a Shadow Pokemon and can forcibly fight trainers without having to use their Pokemon. It also makes it harder for the Pokemon authorities in this world to fight them because they'll get hurt and Rick rolled so hard their hair will fall off, you know what I'm saying? I just think it's weird how three members of Cypher can change their shape and personalities just like... And it's also interesting how we don't see any other trainers like this too besides Grunts. The only other person I'm thinking that's like this outside of these games I'd say would be the Iron Mask Marauder. He doesn't have a transformation per se, but he does wear this beefy armor that probably protects him from Shadow Pokemon and also Shadow Pokemon trainers that might want to square up with him. And yeah, I don't really have much to say um, on this theory. It's something I just came up on the fly. Um, and that's also it for this video guys. If you like this Pokemon Coliseum theory, do you guys think there might be more Shadow Pokemon trainers in the future or a continuation of the class? I think so at least. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because it helps me out a lot. It helps me create more content. Turn the bell icon for more notifications for everything that I post. And if you have any thoughts or opinions, let me know in the comment section down below. This is Keon from the Rocket Hideout, signing out.